Rogers TV, Ottawa. Welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. My goodness, I think we should have like confetti falling from the ceiling or some balloons or something because we kick off a brand new season of Daytime Ottawa. Uh, we are back to live shows throughout the summer. Um, as many of you may know, we were playing some of our best of and doing some live shows on Fridays, but now we are back with brand new content each and every day and very excited to kick off this season because a lot of the regular hosts that you will see on a day-to-day -day basis or on a weekly basis are going to join us uh, quite regularly regularly here on Daytime Ottawa to talk about their shows and of course to talk about um, you know their backgrounds and find out a little bit more about them. Meg Stickle is the host of Fit Over 50 here on Rogers TV. She's also the CEO of AIM Fitness and her dog Finley is here somewhere and will be joining us. Come here Finley. Come on in. How are you Meg? Oh I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing well. It's great to see you again. Yeah so good to be back. So Please. yeah let's talk about I mean I know where season two has has come upon us now but I want to talk about how this all began like did you reach out to Rogers how did this all start for you I did so I did reach out to Rogers thinking I would come on you know just do a guest appearance talk about exercising for seniors and adults 50 plus and then I saw there was an option for a weekly segment so I thought oh that would be amazing to be able to help more people and to teach them how to exercise safely and to just inspire them with some new movements nice. so that's how that got started so is this your first TV <laughs> show then have you ever done TV before it is my first TV show awesome yes. congratulations Congratulations. Yes. So, um, mm -hmm. D let's break down season one and season two. Do they differ from each other at all? Have you have you they brought do. in some new elements? I have. I've brought in some new exercises. I did a poll originally to find out what are people interested in, and okay. I found out that balance exercises, exercises for strength, um, strengthening upper body, lower body as well, um, and really helping people to stay mobile. That's what people are looking for. So I've added season two has all new exercises, nice. new challenges, new workouts as well. Um, and uh, yeah, just a few more challenges for people who have been following me since season one. So Meg, why, why seniors? Why did you decide to make that sort of your area of expertise? Yeah, so ever since I was younger, uh, I was about 12 years old when I started volunteering with seniors. And I've always loved uh, just helping people out and uh, helping them find their purpose and realizing that with more strength and more mobility, you can do more. Um, so I started my company. We're cel celebrating 10 years in business nice, next congratulations. month. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Finley. <laughs> Finley. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come I'm on. so sorry. But Finley has um, has found a new friend with one of our crew members. Come here, Finley. <laughs> there she is, Steph. You, you're, you're on the air. This is Steph's de television debut here. One of our great volunteers and camera people. For those of you that don't realize, by the way, um, a lot of our programming, if not all of it, is, is volunteer driven. So, you know, the people that are working on behind the scenes, like Steph you just saw, are, are volunteers here, are co-op students as, as well. Finley, how are you? So is Finley a big part of the program too? Like Finley's always around, right? Oh. Oh, he is, yes. Yeah. So he's eight years old. I got him as a puppy. And when I first got him, I said, you know what? I'd love to socialize him. Okay. I'd love him to really be a friendly dog. So I started to take him with me to my different classes in the community and one-on-one -on -one personal training. And, of course, people loved him. Oh, yeah. And they said, well, keep bringing him, keep bringing him. So now eight years later, he joins me in all of my sessions. I go and do regular <laughs> segments at um, different retirement residences. And now he's in all of my TV shows so it. you can see Finley on my show as well. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, you want to do some exercises today? Yes. We'll give some examples of what people can expect. On Now what about equipment wise? Let's so, talk about that. Like, uh, do people need to have particular equipment uh, at home to follow along with you? Not much. Okay. Not much at all. A lot of people think, oh, I should have a home gym in order to exercise, but that's not the case. So I've brought with me a resistance band. I do recommend that everyone gets one of these. Okay. Um, light hand weights are also really helpful to have. Um, and a chair. It's about, right. that's it. Just those three elements. Okay, that's pretty easy. Yes. I think we've all got that at home. Finley, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
All right, we're going to do something together, right? We are. We're going to start with a, uh, a partner exercise. Okay. So if anyone who's watching, if they do have someone who can hold the band for them, um, then they can do this. Could you tie this band off, too, to something? You could, okay. definitely. Okay. Yes, yeah. Right. You can, And I'll show you a few exercises you can do on your own, too. All right. But you can also tie it to a handle. A door okay. handle would Excellent. work, too. So a lot of people are saying, Meg, I don't want to go on the floor to do core exercises. I'm not interested in that, or I have a hard time getting up from the floor. So I'm going to show you a few exercises to strengthen your core muscles that are done standing. Okay. So uh, right. what we'll do is we'll start by taking a one step forward, one step back, okay. just like that. Hold yeah. on with two hands. Okay. Um, and we want the band to be a little bit tight so you can pull right. it in a little okay. bit here. And bend your knees and then we're going to move in opposite directions. So okay. if you move that way, I'll move this way. Gotcha. And I want you to pull the band and then back to center and the other way. And so we're working so our core here, we're right? Working like our I can core. feel it engaged. You should already. feel it, yeah. So you want to pull your stomach in, tighten your belly in as you twist. And you're, we're trying not to do too much hip here, right? No, that's right. So we want to face each other and really twist at the okay. waist, not at your hips. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do one more. Yeah, so this is a, a fun one. It's actually surprising how it much is. I can feel it. Like you think, oh, well, yeah. you're not going to feel too much. Here, yes. I'll give that to you. Can yeah. you give us another example? I'll give you another example. So you can stand on the band with two feet. You want okay. your feet to be about hip width uh, distance. And then you want to hold on with both hands. Again, you want that band to be nice and tight. And then you want to take the band from one hip right to the hey, other. Mike, come here. So we want to be twisting, going side to side. Finley's exploring. <laughs> For those who watch my show, they know usually Come he's here. sleeping, so today you get to see the other side of Finley. You're, you're hyper today, <laughs> eh? Yeah. yeah. So this one is really good as well for the core. Those of you with the osteoporosis want to just move the arms, though. You want to watch that you don't too much, do too much twisting motion. Right, right. Okay. Um, the next one is for the obliques, so the, okay. the side of our torso. So you can place one hand on your hip. The other arm, option one, if you have osteoporosis, you want to just pull and tighten that stomach in. But if you don't, you can add a bit of a side bend. So nice and tall, and then lift that band and lean to the side. And you'll feel that again right along the side of, of your, your core. So. Um, when you came in today, I, I overheard you saying to one of my colleagues mm -hmm. that, um, that you're getting stopped now. Like people are recognizing you. That must be pretty yes. cool, right? I mean, you're getting some great feedback, oh, right? It feels so good. Yeah, it feels so nice to know that people are watching. They appreciate the show. And I would say those who are stopping me say they watch it every day. Nice. So people are really very dedicated, which is amazing. They'll see results if nice. they do that. Excellent. Yes. Finley, what do you think? Take another another exercise. Yeah, I've yeah. Got one more. Let's do another I've got one. one. More. Okay. okay. So this one you'll want to take behind your back, so just like you're skipping rope, okay. and you want it to be right about at your 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 waist area. Um, this one, in, in a lot of my videos, I do um, combination exercises, so something that will strengthen but also challenge your balance. Okay. So this one we want our legs a little bit wider, and we want that band to be nice and tight, and then I want you to lift your knee and then reach past your knee with the band. And once again, we want to tighten up that stomach, pull your belly in, and add a bit of a twist, but also really pull with that band as well. Meg, with AIM Fitness then, do you, I mean, you mentioned you go into uh, retirement homes, that sort of thing too. Do you mm -hmm. do one-on-one? -on -one? Do you go to people's homes? Uh, how do people we get do. in touch with you? Yes, we do. So we do okay. offer one-on-one -on -one personal training in the community. I have an amazing team that will go all the way from Stittsville to Orleans. Excellent. Um, yeah, so we'll travel and meet with people to find out what their goals are, and then put together a specific program for them. Terrific. Um, yeah, we do group classes as well, um, mostly online right now. Okay. Um, we do also... Which makes people comfortable, right? Yes. Meg, uh, you're going to be a regular guest. We'll see you in, in just a little bit again. Monday mm -hmm. to Friday, 8.30 a.m. You can join Meg. We'll be right back after this. Good job.